Okay, so having had TVOS 16 installed, I can tell now why they didn't bother spending any time talking about it on stage or during the presentation. So I've had a quick look through it. Uh, the good news is that all of the apps appear to still be working, even Infuse and iPlay TV, which uh, were the ones that broke on TVOS 15. However, the literally the only new feature that I could actually find was when you come into um, yeah, so there's two things. So everything feels a little bit snappier. So when it when I actually move between all of these, it is just like a millisecond snappier. Uh, that could just be because they've actually reduced the time of the animation. Uh, when you come into home, and ironically for me, it is actually something that uh, kind of benefits me. So the cameras and everything like that are exactly the same. There's no change in how they how they look, how they operate or anything like that. Same thing with those, they, they look a tiny, tiny bit snappier. But literally the only change is these and uh, these icons. So these icons are just ever so slightly bigger. Um, I'll put a comparison video side by side so then you can actually see uh, the difference. But yeah, that, that is literally the only difference, the fact that they've actually changed the icons. Um, and I'm pretty sure these actually changed it may, it may be part of the iOS 16 update, um, but some of these I think may have actually been late iOS 15, uh, 15 as well, and they just never got updated for the Apple TV. So previously, rather than having the cutout for the door and having this little sort of uh, cutout under the, the actual roof and, and the chimney, previously it was just like all one, one icon. So that is literally the only update for tvOS 16 that I can actually see. Now, bear, bear one, uh, actually there is one other thing. So on tvOS 16, it automatically adds, so it kind of detects who else is part of your home and it suggests that you add them. So obviously uh, my daughter's account, my wife's account, my, my youngest aren't added. Um, and this basically just kind of prompts you to bring the phone next to the TV and set their profiles up as well. Um, but on tvOS 15, it doesn't do that. It just shows the ones that you've actually got set up with the option to add user. But yeah, there's there's literally nothing nothing new. I even checked the screensavers. Uh, screensavers are all still identical uh, to what was there previously. Went through all the settings, went through accessibility. Uh, I can't see anything else that's actually changed. So that's why they didn't bother spending any time talking about it on stage. Maybe somewhere down the line with the late, uh, later beta versions, um, they might actually start adding some stuff. It may be that they're holding so, some stuff back uh, for functionality between newer devices, things like that. But right now, there's there's not a lot that was actually added, hence why they didn't bother spending any time on it.